people, people, people. If you like rose and oud combination fragrances plus a cheapy, keep watching and stay tuned. I think you're going to be impressed with this one. Hello ladies and gentlemen, hello YouTube, my name is Mike, Michael, Mikey Cologne, and obviously you see the intro, I'm going to talk to you today about a fragrance that I've had in my arsenal since it came out in 2021, I was just looking at my fragrances thinking what am I going to do a review of next, and this review probably won't take long, but this fragrance is a cologne dupe, whatever you want to call it, of a very popular, expensive niche fragrance from the house of Maison Francis Kurt Jean. That fragrance is Oud Satin Mood. And the fragrance I'm talking to you today about is coming from Paris Corner, which is the brand. This is called Oud Satin. Right. Paris Corner is the brand. Minstry of Oud, I believe, is the line of this specific fragrance. So I think you've got five or six different fragrances in this Minstry of Oud title, so to speak. And this is Oud Satin. If you know Oud Satin Mood by Maison Francis Kurt Jean, you know the colour of the juice. Look at the colour of that juice. Look, it's near on identical. Hang on, and plus... That's a sample of Oud Satin Mood. Look. People, people, people. I'm not slating this fragrance because I love Rose Oud combinations. And I was going through, so I thought I'd do a review on this and then I had a sample of it. So I'd done a side-by-side -side comparison and let me tell you something. Right, let me read you the notes. It's a very simple note breakdown. First of all, I'm getting excited here. Look, I'm gonna show you the bottle. So you've got that, just a nice, thick, heavy glass bottle. I don't own the box of this anymore. I did throw it away. You've got the cap, look, it says Minstry of Oud on the top. Then on top of the atomizer, it's kind of a snug fit, not too tight, so I'd be careful. And then on top of the atomizer, I don't know if you can see that it says Paris Corner. So that's the actual brand. And then I'll waste a couple of sprays for you. Not bad atomizer at all. It's a bit pressurized. Nice short wide burst. Decent distribution. Straight away, you get Rose and Oud. Right. You've got Bulgarian Rose and Argarwood or Agarwood, which is Oud. You have Turkish rose and benzoin in the mid, and in the base you have vanilla and you have violet. For starters, this fragrance is very linear. It doesn't change a whole lot till the late dry down on me. You get that Bulgarian rose and it comes across jammy. I don't, I wouldn't have thought for the price that you pay for this, they would real use real oud, so it's obviously synthetic. But it goes, it blends well. Then the Turkish rose is there to give it a bit more of a backbone. So that just, literally, you will get that near on through the whole life of the fragrance. Like I say, it's very linear. Until the late dry down, you get the vanilla and the benzoin to me. It comes across just a little bit ambery and vanillic. But that is on the late dry down. People, if you are interested in buying Oud Satin Mood from Maison Francis Kurt Jean. I'm not saying to you, don't buy it, because it is a great fragrance, and it is a great, great niche brand. There's no doubt about that. And the perfumer behind all them fragrances, spot on. But if you're trying to save a penny, in the UK at the minute, you can pick this up for £35 for 100ml. And... This is 
95% similar. I've done one spray of the OG, the real one on this arm, Utsatin Move, and I sprayed this on this arm, and I was doing a side by side, and they smell near on identical. The only difference is, is that this is a little bit more lighter than Utsatin Mood, but apart from that smell wise, you cannot hardly know any difference. If you was to spray each one on each arm and you went to someone, a friend or your other half, can you smell the difference? I bet you they will think that it is the same fragrance. That is how good this is. It really is. Like I say, I've got the sample there. I'm not, I'm not getting paid to push this fragrance. I'm just trying to let you know how good this fragrance is. And for the money, it is one of the best pickups. Not the best, but one of the best pickups I've ever picked up for this price. Projection on this is enormous. You do not need to spray heavy with this at all. You could get away with four sprays, easy four, three to four sprays you could get away with, but I'll wear five or six. Winter time, this thing projects like a beast on me, like literally two to three hours solid projection. The scent trail that it leaves is so sexy from that jammy rose and that it's just a little bit oody. I know it's obviously synthetic or probably synthetic oud, but it is for what you pay, it's it's worth triple the price. It really is. This is worth triple the price, easy. So two to three hours, solid projection. It sits closer to the skin a little bit more, but it's still radiating a, a, a couple of feet until the five, six hour mark, and it dials down a bit more to about a foot. And then about the eighth hour mark, eighth or ninth hour mark, it becomes a skin scent, but not a close skin scent. You can still detect it. So this thing, for what you pay, is a beast. It really, really is. And this is a stunner, a stunner for cold weather. If you're going out to a restaurant, if you go into a bar, oh my God, oh, I can't believe I haven't reviewed this sooner. It's It's been sitting there right in the middle at the front of one of my shelves and my eyes have just not picked it up. I don't know why. And then I looked at it and I thought, I've got to review this. I've got to let the people know how good this fragrance really is. If you own Oud Satin Mood and you're running low or you want something that smells nearly the same but you don't want to burn for your bottle, people, I'm telling you, pick this one up. It's £35 in the UK. I don't know how much it is in the rest of the world. But Or if you want to get Oud Satin Mood and you don't have the money, people, I can't rave how good this really is. It is such a quality fragrance for the price. And it's extract the perfume concentration and it's a 100 ml bowl. So anyway, people, I just wanted to talk to you about it a little bit. Like I said, I'm not getting paid. To the, the, the brand don't even know who I am and they don't know that I'm reviewing this fragrance. I just know that sometimes or at the minute money's a little bit tight for some people. And if you want to smell good on a budget, this if you like rose oud combination fragrances, this will do you so much justice. And if you do pick this up and you smell this, you will be thanking me for it. Remember people, smelling good is always a pleasure and never a chore. I just want to say one thing. If you have watched this to the end and you do follow my channel, I really do appreciate your time. I really do. Uh, I appreciate your support. It means a lot to me. It really does. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you.